In this video, we will check out how to create static methods. But first of all, what are static methods? In your class, you can declare a static method, which can be called without having an instance of the class. Therefore, static methods don't rely on information of an instance and execute more general functionality. So how do you create static methods? For that, you simply have to add the static keyword in front of a method when you declare it in your class. When implementing the static method in a CPP file, you don't have to add the static keyword in front of the method again. But that's all you need to create a new static method. But how do you call it if you don't have an instance of the class? To call a static method, you just have to write the class name and then two times the colon operator and lastly, the name of your method. If your method takes any arguments, then obviously you have to provide them at that point. And this works the same way for every static method you create. But there are some things you should be aware when you use static methods. First, inside of a static method, you also only can call other static methods. Because obviously, when you enter a static method, you don't have an object on which you could execute non-static methods. Obviously, if you provide an object as an argument, then you can call on this object non-static methods. And the same is true for member variables inside your class. Since normal member variables are linked to an instance, and obviously you can't access them without an instance. However, if you still want to define variables in your class and use them in static methods, you can use static member variables. But those we will check out in an upcoming video. Let's look now at a common example when it makes sense to use static methods, namely the methods provided by fmath, which provides functionality for different mathematical concepts. These methods are static since it wouldn't make sense to create an instance of fmath just to execute operations on numbers. Therefore, fmath was created to group various mathematical operations together so that you know where you can look for certain operations. Similar to fmath, you could create a class that only contains static methods. This would be quite useful if you have various methods that get called across different classes across your game and you don't want to duplicate code for each class. By extracting those functionalities into static methods and grouping them in one class, you basically make code more reusable and you also only have to change your method in one place instead of multiple different locations. But this is all you need to know about static methods. Like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.